Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of another month. You have just completed four months in the year 2020 and just entered into the fifth month of this year. Be with us throughout this month, O oh Lord. We pray that you may continue to guide us with your mighty hand. As we begin a new month, protect us from all perils. Be with us throughout this month. Bless all our efforts and endeavors and help us to come closer and closer to you to know more about your will for us and for the whole world. Be with us throughout this service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Let us all praise God by singing the hymn 12. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. Hymn number 12. Let us pray. Almighty God, you know thoughts and our desires, and no secret is hidden from you. By your Holy Spirit, prepare us now, so that we may love and worship you as we ought. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us say in unison, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Page number six, O Lord's summary of the law and the prophets. O Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. 
This is the great, the first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep these laws. Dearly beloved, we have come together to hear God's most holy word. Let us therefore kneel and examine ourselves in silence, seeking God's grace that we may draw near to him with repentance and faith. Let us say the prayer of the publican three times. Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Almighty God, our merciful Savior, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins, to all who forgive the brothers and sisters, and with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Now the Gospel lesson will be read. The Gospel lesson is chosen from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses from 25 to 30. St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses from 25 to 30. Come to me, and I will give you rest. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding, and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Here ends the Gospel lesson. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Now let us sing together the hymn 521, hymn number 521. I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus. Stay. 
let us pray Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. We are here on the first day of a new month, the month of May. God is faithful and he wants us to show our faithfulness towards him. Today is May Day. We remember all the laborers, the workers. We very specially pray for them. The whole world recognizes their contribution to the development of the society. It is our duty to remember all the workers and all the laborers here. The psalmist says, Psalm 127, verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. God's blessing and provision in our work. That's what we see in this psalm and particularly in verse 1. God's blessing and provision in our work. It tells us two things in particular. Without God, our work is in vain. Without God, our work is in vain. Psalmist says in Psalm 90, verse 17, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yea, establish the work of our hands. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4. There the author of Hebrews says that God is the builder. Every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. Here the psalmist wants against an attitude of self-sufficiency. God wants us to find blessing and fulfillment in our work. We must see the blessing of God and we must also have the satisfaction. But it is not going to happen apart from God. Without God, our work will be empty. And this verse talks about two kinds of work, building and then guarding or maintaining. Building and maintaining. It not only speaks about building a house, but anything we build in our lives. We build friendship. We build certain groups. So this verse not only speaks about building a house, 
but anything we build in our lives. God is the builder of everything. And we should not start anything without God, any work as a matter of fact. We should not start anything without God. Because if God is not in it, his blessings will not be on it. If God is not in it, and his blessings will not be on it, that we have to remember. If we want God's blessing and provision in our work, we must not only start with God, we must continue with God as well. Sometimes what happens, we begin a work or any enterprise or endeavor, we start with prayer and afterwards we forget everything and we do our work, our own business. But the psalmist says, we must not only start with God, we must continue with God as well. Without his support and blessing, we cannot succeed in our work. After lockdown is lifted, we need to mellow down or mellow out, calm down. We are upset and shocked over the outbreak of coronavirus. But we need to mellow down. We need to mellow out. We have to work, work hard, because God is a worker. After creating everything, God said it was good. And God did not stop with that. Till now, he is taking care of his creatures. He provides everything from time to time. You are able to breathe. You are able to survive. You are able to live in this world. Because God is maintaining. So, we also have to do that. Not only building, but also we have to maintain. Building and maintaining. That's why the psalmist says, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. So here, in this new month, we must remember that it is our duty to work. Work for the extension of God's kingdom. Work for the development of the society so that people will be benefited through our work, through our research, through our endeavors. Let us submit our lives to God on this May Day so that God can use us to fulfill His purpose for His glory and for the development of this world. May God bless us all and may God enable us to have a wonderful month of May. Amen. Let us profess our faith to the Nicene Creed as found on page number 10. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us all and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Let us all sing together the hymn 400, hymn number 400, take my life and let it be consecrated Lord to thee, hymn number 400.
The Lord be with you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.